Hello guys, hope you are all doing good. This video is about how we can connect uh, Python with Tableau on the fly and uh, run some uh, models on top of that. So in our example today, we are going to perform a sentiment analysis for one of the data set we have. As you can see on my screen, I have some uh, feedback from some of our customers. Based on this, uh, say I wanted to find out the sentiment, whether it, they are extremely happy or sad or neutral, right? So let's get started. So in order to start uh, integrating with Python, you would actually require uh, TabPy. So the basic, uh, if you already have Python installed uh, in your system, you can just run this command, pip install TabPy. So automatically uh, it will install all the libraries which are required for you. So once that is done, you can just uh, execute TabPy so that it will start your server and assign a random port. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll click on start. As you can see over here, so now my web service is listening on port 9004. Now uh, let's look at how do we connect to the Python web service, right? So in your Tableau desktop, go to help and then click on settings and performance. Then click on manage analytics extension connection. So over here you have two options. One is our server, second one is TabPy. So for now, uh, I'm going to connect on TabPy. My server is localhost, port is 9004. Then you can click on this test connection. So it says successfully connected. I don't think so this is the right place to uh, have this connection settings. Uh, maybe Tableau would have given this option in much better place. So you will have to find it within the help section. And whenever you click on test connection, it should actually provide a better icon. It says that something uh, is not right but looks like the connection is successful for us okay let's go ahead with that click on okay so now what i'm going to do is uh, if you look at my data set i have a column called summary so basically this is uh, my uh, comment section so i want to assign the polarity score based on this particular field already i have a uh, one of the script uh, available so let me just copy this let me create a new field so I would say score so what I'm doing basically is I'm calling up my library over here and after that I'm passing my feedback or my comment column as an argument and then there is a polarity score which is going to be assigned from extremely uh, low to high so as you can see here this is where I'm going to pass the field as a parameter right so now let's click on apply click on ok I'll make this uh, discrete for now. Let me pull up my summary field on my view. And then let me add my sentiment score also in the view. So now when you drag that field in the view, only then it is going to execute your script. As you can see, I have overall around unique 23,545 uh, different feedbacks. And based on that, we have actually got the score assigned, right? So let's do a little bit of color coding over there. So I would just drag this on the color shelf, make this continuous and let's uh, go ahead and make this to proper color coding, right? So I'll assign extreme low to red and extreme positive to green. And another thing we forgot is let's make this step color as two, click on OK. Now as you can see over here, so let's look up to some of our uh, uh, some of our feedbacks, right? So let me scroll down a bit. Let's go ahead and find out this one. So it does not work like people, okay? So if you see the kind of comments, it is a kind of a, uh, this particular library is not really good, but it is satisfactory. So some of the scores, if you see here, so it is, it's okay, it's an average scoring over here. So this is one quick example of you on how we can execute Python uh, data models on the fly with Tableau. Some of the real world examples you can do is, let me just quickly jump onto one of my other dashboard. And uh, basically what we can do is we can try to, you know, build some additional views based on all the sentiment analysis the one which we have currently is based on the sentiment analysis of uh, purchasing a vehicle right 
so, so this is a good example of using uh, python so uh, apart from this you also have an option to add, run the script uh, at your data source level and then bring up the data in tab view but just in case if you are looking for an option to directly run within your tab view there is a, a web service option available natively from tab view desktop so i hope uh, this is an informational video for you like and subscribe for more have a nice day